Yeah, so I mean, I, I, I currently live in the, the northeast of England in County Durham. Um, I was born in suburban South London. And yeah, I mean, I've been an artist for the last 20 years. So this is what I, I do. I mean, I've done pre previous jobs in doing all kinds of things. You know, I was a photographer for, you know, 10, 15 years. So uh, yeah, but this is, this is what I've been doing for the last 20 years. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I guess the photography kind of brings back to kind of, you know, the, the core, um, artistic skills of you know composition and light and uh, that's the kind of the way that I look is in terms of you know composing the image so I mean all my pieces are are an image in itself um, they're just images that other people see but they are still composed so that you know the site is is chosen so that you get those those views so I know that those sight lines and where the light is falling to how the colour works and those are all the skills, the, the, the photographic skills, but I mean they're, they're still kind of the, 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 the core kind of artistic skills, kind of classical skills, yes. traditional skills. The, the inflatables are kind of interesting, I've been doing those for uh, yeah, nearly 20 years. Yeah, I'm still trying to work out what it is that uh, they are, I mean they are about, uh, what, one of the things is that they are about the, the, the transience of the impermanence and the temporary because they are, you know, they're, they're fragile things, you know, they're, they're, they're mostly air, you know, they're just a little bit of textile on the outside but, but the, the basis of them is air. Um, and that's yeah, about as fragile as you can get as a, as a material and it's, it's that, that contrast of the fragility with, um, with, the, with the permanence and the, the ruggedness of, of landscape or architecture which is kind of the complete opposite, it's that um, yeah, it's, it's that real contrast. It's the contrast of colours. It's the contrast of forms and shape and texture. Yeah, so it's a, you know it's it's it's, a, it's about texture and light and form and shape and colour. And I mean those, but those are also the, the the words of landscape, but they're also the words of architecture. So it's you know the, these are the common common threads that exist in all of them. And, and generally, those processes, you know, they take kind of six months to a year. Generally, that's kind of how long they take to, you know to try and find the right location. Uh, uh, understanding, you know, how you interact and how a person interacts with that. That's the, you know, the, the between humankind and nature is, is, is what I do, is understanding how people interact with their, their environment um, in the way that an architect understands uh, the way that, that, that people interact with space. Um, so that's kind of what, I, what I'm understanding, is, is how people interact with that space that I'm putting in so that I know that experience that they're going to have when they get there, because the pieces are about an experience. When you have work on a scale, um, experience is, is, uh, is a medium, just as much as paint or, or clay. Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I like the temporary. The temporary is, is part, of, part of the work. Um, there's a logistical element of the temporary, which just means that you can do things that you can't do on a permanent basis because you can make things far more precarious, more delicate, um, and that makes the, the work interesting. Um, but it's also that, that time element where a work is just there for a short amount of time and then it's gone. Um, uh, and, and I like that, that aspect of it, that, it's, that it is only there, it's visiting, it's just, you know, uh, popping in to say hello almost, but it's that kind of magical moment of it's a, it's a fleeting moment and you have to be there to see it and then it's gone. It's the experience of, of the artwork, and I'm interested in that, that experience there, the, the human interaction with the piece, that you know, some of the places are out of the way, so you might have to walk an hour to get there, and then the piece is on such a scale that you'll spend two hours there, and then you'll walk an hour back. And that whole idea of somebody taking four hours out of their life in a day just to see one work of art, I mean, that doesn't happen in a gallery. And so that has a a real impact on the people that go and see it more than they would if they just saw something in the gallery because they've they've uh, they've contributed to it as well because they, they've they've uh, had their effort to go and see it as well so that's a kind of a you know a buy-in for the people that go and see it as well so they're buying into that whole to the whole piece I, what I wanted to do was transform that space and what I saw was you have the decking area and then there's the, the, the main part of the hotel and that, that kind of manicured gardens and the, you know, man-made environment. And in between is the space and that's the edge of the sea. And there is the rocks and they're, they're not sculpted, they're not managed, they're not designed, they are, that's real raw nature. And in the middle of a built, busy hotel environment, there is this little bit of raw nature. And I think that's kind of 
interesting. So that's what I wanted to play with. It was do something with that little strip of, it's almost, it's almost wilderness because it isn't touched. Um, uh, and, and nobody goes in it. It's kind of inaccessible. So, and so the, I, I liked the, the um, uh, you know, that ruggedness of, of the rocks and how sharp they are, but also the colors. Um, and that movement of the water and on the edge of the Aegean Sea and the history that goes along and the culture that goes with that as well. But then also looking at the colour, the colour of the water, the colour of the rocks, the colour of the view that you get outside and looking at that palette and being faithful to that palette and not challenging it and not putting an alien colour in, but playing with that, that palette but still standing out. So it's understanding the language and then speaking in that language in a way that um, uh, that that makes the, the the place noticeable and transforms it. So what you know, if you're just down there at the bar of an evening and, and a drink, you you've got something of scale and, and colour and form that's there, and you can't not notice it. And by noticing it, you're engaged with it in whatever way you want, whether you want to ignore it or whether you want to look at it or whether you want to have a selfie with it. But it's still engaging in that space that you would never have engaged with that space before. It's causing people to stop and look. And if you stop and look, you're taking time out of what you're doing. And it's that kind of switching off and slowing down. And that creates conversations and they become that kind of social space where uh, you change how you, you, your behavior because of them, you know, the wider behavior of, of, of how you are. The idea is that they look effortless. And that's the idea that they look effortless. They are far from effortless because they are so complicated. Doing anything with water is complex. Doing anything in an outdoor environment, particularly with textiles, it's, you know, it's a challenge. They're not, this is why people don't do it, because it's, you know, it's not a, it's not an easy thing to do. So to, to, to do something is, is a challenge, but that's, that's part of the challenge. But they are essentially simple and they are meant to look simple. And what I don't want people to do is worry about how they work. I think, you know, the, the, the location is, is amazing. Um, you know, the architecture of the place and the gardens, and it's all part of this environment and it's a, it's a, it's a fantastic kind of calming and, and welcoming environment. But it's also a busy hotel and there's a, you know, there's a lot of people here. Um, uh, but that's kind of interesting as well, that it is busy and people are here to party and they're people to have fun. Um, and, you know, that on the whole, they're not here to see art. So how do you engage those people that are not here to see art? That's the people that are seeing the work. And that's the people that are engaging in a different way than people would do in a gallery. Right. <laughs>